hope you are well in today's video we are going to see how you can you debug your code using chat gpt but before starting did you watch my previous video in which i talked about top 10 websites to learn python programming if you are new here i am asan and i post tutorials on this channel if you might be interested in watching those videos consider subscribing to the channel if you have any questions comment now on this video let's start today's video so here let's uh, look at this example of bubble sort this code is generating a new file called sorted if not generated and reading numbers from this list and sorting them after sorting it will count the number of swaps and number of com comparisons let me show you the files that it will create so this these are the sample here and it will generate new sample here i'm going to run this to check what is the output right now so number of swaps 5 and number of comparisons are 10 let's check in the file sorry uh, so it's generating some symbols which are not readable. Let's ask ChatGPT to debug it. I'm going to copy this code first of all. So here it is and paste it in the ChatGPT. Ask it to debug. Let's check what it gives us. So here is the ChatGPT's answer. It mentions all the errors that we had in previous code and also fixes them in updated version. Let's copy the code. First of all, and uh, let's check what it gives us. It added the file not found exception, also the number format exception, including IO exception. It added finally blog. Also, it asked us to close the buffer reader because it was not there. Let's paste the code here. I have our code here. Now I'm going to run this file and check. First of all, I'm going to delete it, uh, delete the samples from here, and then run the file here. Okay, these are the same, but check the real result okay it's sorted the here you can see that you can compare it by this uh, let's me open that too you can see that it sorted the sample here now let's look at another example in which i uh, wrote a code about pdf generator this code actually generates a pdf file and paste this string to the file but you can see that you it have some errors now us we will ask ChatGPT to solve these errors I'm going to copy here and ask it to debug it. Let's check what it gives us. So you can see that here is the answer of ChatGPT. It tells us that the code does not have a null pointer exception or I'm not handling anything for null exception. So it added all the exceptions which uh, this type of exception which have all exceptions. Now I'm going to copy this code and paste it there to see if these errors are gone or not. So here is another error. Now I'm going to run it to check what's the error actually and ask the GPT to fix that too. So here is our error. I'm going to copy it. Exception in thread main in uncomfortable code. It's actually a data tag error maybe. Let's ask the GPT. I'm going to copy it and paste it there. Let's check what it gives us. So here is the updated version of the code. I'm going to copy it and paste it here so that we can see what is the result. Okay, now it's not generating any error. I'm going to run it and it should pass this hello.pdf file name and the text hello world and it should be printed into a file called hello world dot hello dot pdf and it should be generated here also let's run the program okay, it successfully generated it now let's check if it generated or not uh, okay the file is here i'm going to open it and check if it's working yes it printed hello world the text which was written in here and it successfully removed all the errors so this was all about today's video it showed you how you can debug your code using chat GPT. if you have runtime errors or any building errors you can just copy that error like i did and paste in chat GPT. it will automatically detect all the errors and show you the fixes also also the updated version of the code so in the next video i'm going to talk about how you can learn java using chat GPT. So subscribe the channel now and don't miss the video and click on the bell icon so you will be notified when I publish the video. Thank you guys for watching.